your aura consists of everything that you utilize to represent yourself. That includes how you represent yourself on social media. That is an extension of you, whether you like it or not. You're the one that's curating your social media. Your social media is an extension of you and how you represent yourself. So I say that to say, when we're talking about aura, your social media reflects that as well. I understand it's not in person. I understand people don't know you just by what they see on social media, but I do want you to understand it affects people's perception of you. It also is a representation of your own perception of yourself. As a consequence of that, people will approach you based on their perception of you. They will also approach you based on what they think your own perception of yourself is. I want you to imagine, and this is this is this is uh, to to show you an example of how aura, even on so e even the representation of you on social media affects your aura and your perception. Because perception is aura, all of that stuff is related. Whether it be your perception online or your perception in person, all that stuff is related. Okay, this is an example of that. I want you to imagine two guys. Okay, two guys DM you at the exact same time. Okay, you're single. You're ready to mingle. Okay. Two guys DM you, right? Let's imagine they're two different versions of me. Okay. Just to, just to be um, specific so we can all understand. These are two different versions of me that DM you. We're going to determine, right? How you would feel about each DM with each different guy, each of these two different guys. Okay. So guy number one DMs you, right? And when guy number one DMs you, he says, Hey, I, I want to get to know you more, right? Can we go out on a date? When you click on guy number one's profile, you go to his profile and you see, <clears throat> sorry. And you see on guy number one's profile, it's me with in a king size bed, right? King size satin sheets bed with a hundred women around me. A hundred women, just me and a hundred women. We're sitting in a king size bed. My arms are around them like this. I'm smiling like a clown from ear to ear. We're in a king size bed, just me and a hundred women, right? You scroll through the rest of my profile. You see, I got a hundred K followers, right? And every picture is just me and a whole bunch of women. Every picture, just me and women. A ton of women. You don't know what they're there for. You don't know their existence or their relation to me. It's just me and a bunch of women, every single picture in a bed, in a bedroom, on a sofa, wherever, in a pool, me and hundreds of women all the time, right? And I, and guy number one, right? This is the first version of me, asks you to, hey, I want to get to know you better. Can we go on a date? What are you going to think about me based on what you've seen on my social media profile? What are you going to think? When you see that message, what's going to be the thought process that you have after you see that message? This is where I want you guys to respond in the chat because I want us to be all of the same understanding. Okay. What are you meaning you? I want you to answer in the chat. What are you going to think when I send you that message from my profile with the hundreds of women in my bed all the time? Every picture is me and women. Let's look at guy number two. Very interesting. Okay. This is, let's just for a magic sake of argument, this is the second version of me, right? So you have two people in your DM. This is the second guy. The second guy says the exact same thing. Hey, um, I want to get to know you more. Can we go out on a date, right? You click on guy number two's profile and I've got a hundred followers, only a hundred. I follow zero women. Zero random IG models, just my guys and my and my guy friends and maybe like one or two, like, you know, just regular people. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. And on my profile, you see, it's just pictures of like me going out in nature, 
going and videos of me going out of nature on hikes, going on walks, you know, spending time out on the beach by myself and with my dog. I've got a husky, a super cute black and white husky with blue eyes. I love taking pictures and videos of me and my husky going on adventures, right? We do a lot of cute stuff. I show me doing, making him do some cool tricks, right? We go out in the wild. We go for hikes. We have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? That's my entire Instagram. 100 followers, just, just some casual pictures of me and my husky going on some adventures, having fun, right? That's guy number two, right? What are you going to think after you see my profile of guy number two? Remember, both guys sent you the same message. What are you going to think of guy number two, his message telling you, hey, I want to get to know you more. Can we go out on a date? What are you going to think? Tell me in the chat. This is the most amazing part about the example. Guy number one, right? The guy on the on the bed, king size bed with 100 women around him. Guy number one might be an amazing guy. Guy number one might actually be a super green fly guy when you finally meet him. Guy number one might be the most loyal, down to earth, um, well-mannered, intelligent guy you would ever meet. But your perception of him is skewed, changed, right? Or reflected based on what you see him post on social media. It is an extension of his aura and his perception, whether he likes it or not, whether he thinks it's fair or not, it will affect your perception of him, right? So before you even got the chance to know him, your perception of him is adjusted. And because of that, his message, right? Right. Comes to you and you're very skeptical. Some of you might not even answer, right? Just for the simple fact of what you see on their social media. Some of you be like, oh, there's nothing good that this guy wants with me. So I'm not even going to waste my time. Right. And now. He doesn't get his opportunity to get to know you or go out on a date with you because of his perception, right? And the longer he spends not taking control of his perception, even as it relates to social media, the longer he will miss out on great people and great relationships because he expects the perception on uh, that he portrays on social media to not be a representation of how people feel or treat him or approach him in real life. Okay. And just the same vice versa, <clears throat> guy number two, right? Even though his perception is that of more of a husband material or someone who is more down to earth and grounded, you could meet him and he could be the craziest cheater, the craziest, you know, most insane guy that you've ever met, just super toxic all the time, got women all around him every single day, got women around him every single day in every single which way, right? But your perception of him in that scenario is based on what you see of him online. Everything that coincides with his perception, his aura, everything that he's, it's all part of what you're outwardly projecting to other people. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. All of it, the social media aspect, the real life aspect, the confidence, the, the internal, the value, all of that stuff, everything that has to do with you is a reflection of the energy you are outwardly projecting for other people to receive and then do something with. I need you to get a grasp on that, right? And the reason I give that scenario and I use a bunch of detail like that is because I want you to understand how the way you literally in that scenario, the way you were going to physically treat both of those guys was based on what they outwardly projected to you, even though you've never met them. So that should tell you something about how perception and aura plays a role in people's attraction to you or their lack of attraction to you. All of it is part of your perception and aura. All of it. Okay. Now, be very understanding of what I'm saying. I'm not saying, oh, well, as a woman, then you should never post online or you should never post yourself looking good or you should never this and that. No, 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 no. Balance. 
balance. I'm not saying don't post yourself looking good. I'm not saying don't go online looking good. I am saying be careful of how you present yourself that you don't go too far into one extreme or the other and you stop your and you shoot yourself in the foot right by building this perception of yourself that is not in line with the energy you're actually trying to project outwardly are you guys following what i'm saying or do you need a little bit more clarity because i feel like you should be able to to understand what i'm telling you if you can't i can explain more right balance i'm not saying don't post yourself i'm not saying don't don't post yourself being sad or emotional i'm not saying uh, this and that da, da, da. all i'm saying is that the energy you put out people will perceive it and receive it they will then choose to approach you based on that perception whether it be in person or over the internet it all matters it is that deep I'm sorry to tell you. I am so sorry to tell you. It all matters. It is all that deep. Okay? And the reason I'm so passionate about that is because a lot of us, the collective, you the specific, but us the collective, are doing things that negatively affect our perception and our aura on social media. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that you got to go on social media and um, be fake. I'm not saying that you should go on social media and, um, you know, whenever you're sad, you should just go on there and present yourself as being like fake happy or anything like that. What I am saying, what I am saying, right? No matter how you want to slice it or dice it, this and that, you go on social media and you're crying about how sad you are. You're crying about how miserable your life is. You're crying about your last breakup, right? It affects your aura. It affects your desirability. Now, listen to me, 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 listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. I am not saying you should be in, you should be inauthentic on social media. I am not saying you should lie to people on social media. I'm not saying you should present a side of yourself that doesn't actually exist on social media or you shouldn't be emotional or feel things. What I'm saying is there's a time and a place for that. That place is not social media. Okay? And I know this was kind of a side thing. This wasn't the point that I was trying to make originally. But it is something that I also think is very important because some of you guys wonder why certain people approach you in certain ways when you have everything matters okay everything matters so even if they're not seeing your social media you have to understand that what you choose to put on there also reflects how you see yourself and every time you go through your own social media you're going to be seeing that reflection that you've put out for everyone else I know you're probably like, how does that even matter? If they don't see the social media, how does that affect how they feel about me or perceive me? Well, it affects how you perceive yourself. And how you perceive yourself reflects your aura that you carry around everywhere, okay? I know you're probably like, D -d -d how does this matter? This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. No, none of it. It all matters, okay? Everyone is going to try to... Con the people... The people who want to feel like they're not in control of anything as it relates to themselves are going to try to convince you that everything is not that serious, okay? There's a lot of people in the world that are, it's not that serious people. Maybe you're one of those people. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. It is that serious. I promise you it's that serious. The people who spend their entire lives thinking it's not that serious have a lot of serious things happen to them. And then they sit back and they wonder why those things are happening. Okay. I'll give you an example of aura that you might not like. Right? <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I'll give you an example that's based on me so you don't feel like you're being attacked. And then we'll discuss. Okay. <clears throat> I've given this example before. So if you're like a super OG, maybe you'll know this example that I give. Okay. 
But the quicker you understand that your perception is everything that you put out into the world, right? The quicker you can take control of that and the quicker you can work alongside that instead of working against that, right? Someone super earlier in the chat was talking about, oh, I attract weirdos and I wonder why I attract weirdos. It must be my aura must be off, right? These are the type of things like, and I'm just, I'm saying these things of, of course, maybe and I might not directly apply to each and every one of you guys, but I, I'm saying these things in order to spark some ideas in the things or the type of energy you might be projecting outwardly, whether it be on social media, whether it be in person, right? That is affecting how people perceive and receive you. I'm not saying that you have, like I said, it's about balance. I'm not saying that you have to go to one extreme or the other. I'm not saying the answer to all your problems is to never post anything on social media. That, that's unrealistic. You know what I mean? What I am saying is be very, very meticulous and careful and calculated with the image of yourself you and the energy of yourself that you put out for the world to see on social media, whether your profile is private whether your profile's public, whether you're a public figure, whether you're a supermodel, whether you're a celebrity, you're an actor, whether you're just a private, regular citizen, be aware and be very calculated with what you put outwardly for other people to receive. That is part of your aura. That is part of your perception because we just acknowledge that guy number one is not going to get a date out of you because of how you perceive him and guy number two in my example is going to more than likely right more likely than guy number one get a date out of you simply because of his perception not even his in-person perception his online perception and that's why i'm trying to explain to you it all matters so thank you bentley for bringing that up because that was definitely something that needed to be discussed as it relates to aura because i think sometimes we forget about that right? We've gotten this idea that like, oh, I mean, everything social media is not that serious. You know what I mean? It's whatever. Or my profile is private. It's only me and my friends and da, da, da. all of it matters. All of it matters. All of it matters. It's always that deep. It's always that deep. Because like I said, even when you look back on your own social media, right? Your own profile, right? You're, lo you're looking back knowing that that reflects your inner thoughts about yourself. And we talked yesterday about the law of attraction and manifestation and all that stuff. So if this is reflecting how you feel about yourself and you're putting a lot of bad stuff on there or you're putting a lot of stuff out there that you don't want your life to end up like, right? Or you don't want your life, the rest of your life to look like, well, then you're moving in the wrong direction because even in what you're putting out, putting out for other people to see, putting out for other people to absorb, you're also manifesting those things. So are you manifesting things that you want into your life? Or are you putting out energy and putting out other things on social media for them to receive of things that you don't want to attract into your own life? I told you guys, it gets a little deep with me, but like, this is serious. Like this is real, right? This is part of your, or are you putting out things and putting out energy into the world, even as it relates to social media and online that you don't actually want to manifest or attract into your life? Because a lot of us are doing that, right? Putting out into the world, a version of ourselves or putting out into the world energy or things that we don't even want to manifest. Actually, we really don't want to have in our lives. And then we wonder why we're attracting those things into our lives. <laughs> 